guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys coming by the channel and spending some time with me watching the video. Always appreciate that. And gonna give you guys my competition day report from up here at Lake of the Ozarks. We had our BFL tournament here today, the 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 fourth, the third, third or fourth tournament of the year, I can't remember which one. Gonna give you a rundown and hope you guys can learn something from how my day went today. I'm um, also, before we get started, guys, I just wanted to remind you that Solar Bat has a, all through the month of May, they have 25% off anything on the Solar Bat website, including the prescription glasses. So if you guys are interested in getting a pair of my RB2 or RB3 series uh, sunglasses from Solar Bat, 25% off during the whole month. I'll put my Solar Bat link in the description. I much appreciate it. Okay, guys, if you saw my practice deal in there, I practiced, I had uh, half a day of practice. On Thursday, I practiced for half a day probably four hours or so. And then yesterday I didn't get a practice. So um, didn't have a lot of uh, scouting going in before today's tournament. And anyway, yes, the, on the half a day that I had, I uh, spent the day down on the lower end of the lake. And my plan was, is I was gonna fish the lower end of the lake in the clear water on Thursday, and then the, the muddy water on Friday, which I never got to the muddy water. So I just went to the clear water on Thursday. We, we had a rainy day, overcast, good conditions for that. And had a pretty decent day. Could have had, you know, probably 13 or 14 pounds and didn't push them hard, just fished through there. And I was catching most of them on a Mega Bass Mag Draft and also a Wacky Rig. Um, just basically fishing in and around the docks, sort of some of the tail end of the spawn type of a deal. And I really felt that, um, especially throwing that Mag Draft, I, had a, I probably had a chance to catch a pretty good bag of fish because I had a decent limit the way it was. And if I could just get one or two good ones on that Mag Draft, I felt like we would have a chance to win the tournament even on that bait. So anyway, um, the plan was the, the weather last night when I looked at the weather said it was going to be a 75% chance of rain today, heavy thunderstorms in the morning, tapering off to showers in the afternoon with like 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. Well, we got up here today. It was bluebird, partly cloudy skies all day long five mile an hour wind we didn't have they completely missed the weather so the deal was is i went down there this morning ran ran down to the clear water and started fishing down there and it was just slick it was like dead calm it was slick um we fished down there for probably two hours and i caught probably seven or eight non-keepers and my partner caught one my co-angler caught one small keeper but it just didn't feel right it's like it's like it was bright. I was expecting it to be cloudy. I was really counting on it to be cloudy, especially for the mag draft. And um, fish pulled several stretches to there after two hours or so. I just got the feeling, I said, this just isn't gonna work. I said, this just does not feel right with the conditions we have here. I just, it just felt like to me that a lot of the bigger fish were gone out of that really shallow water, you know, fishing, you know, back in the coves around the docks. <clears throat> so anyway, after about two hours, I told my co-anger, I said, we're going to go practice and we're going to go to the dirty water. So ran down to the dirty water, ran about 25 or, you know, 30 miles up to the dirty water there. And I started fishing this Mega Bass uh, S-Crank, this new one, guys. This is the, the new Mega Bass Hot Shad, guys. This is freaking awesome color here. Started just cranking this this uh, S crank around rocky banks over there, and started catching them right and left. My uh, wound up catching almost 13 pounds in the tournament. I had seven keepers. My partner caught. Um, he was cranking a square bill, and he caught four that weighed eight something and lost a four pounder. He was in the top ten, and I just checked the the. Uh, the There's only about oh, the weigh-in's over. Well. Well, the weigh-in had about 10 minutes left or so, and I think I was in 15th or 17th place in the tournament. So anyway, it looks like I'm gonna get a check in the tournament with almost 13 pounds of fish. But guys, this was the key player right here. I'll put my Tackle Warehouse link in the description to this bait here. This is brand new color, Mega Bass Hot Shad. The thing looks freaking awesome in the water, in that off-colored water. And so I'll put that link in the description if you guys would like to pick you up a couple. But here was the deal with it. The, what I was concentrating on, I was concentrating on transition banks and steeper banks. So I was sort of looking for those type of places where I felt those fish were pulling out to after they got done spawning. So I was fishing on the main lake and I was fishing adjacent to spawning coves. So what I was looking for is like, I, you know, scan the lake over there. I'd look for a cove where I felt the fish were spawning. I'd come out to the main lake and I'd try to get a steep rock or even a bluffy bank. And I was paralleling that S crank throwing it on 12 pound test Seaguar and Vizex line, 
um, trying to target sort of that two to four foot zone with it. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, we caught a lot of fish over there. Like I said, I didn't, I never didn't get the big bite, but I did, you know, catch enough to, you know, make a good check in the tournament. I, I pretty much felt that that was the right thing to be doing considering the conditions, the water visibility where I was catching them, probably about 12 inches. So everything was lined up pretty much, you know, for a good square bill crankbait bite. But this is one of those tournaments, guys, looking back to, in retrospect, I wouldn't have done anything different. I mean, I, I had four hours to practice, wound up bailing on my practice water, just went fishing, you know, just from my instincts and my intuition, wound up catching a good limb of the fish, getting a check in the tournament, probably moved up and, you know, top 15 in the points or, or more after this tournament probably. And, um, probably would have done the same thing if I had it to do over again. I I really felt that um, in order to catch that upper teens bag to have a chance to win this tournament, I really felt that I had to catch him on a big swim bait or something around the docks, but I just couldn't, couldn't get it going. I couldn't make it happen, but sort of have to do what you got to do to catch them. But anyway, guys, if I could give you a tip here, um, look for the stained water after the fish spawn, try to get on those steeper rocky banks, get you one of these mega bass S cranks in the mega bass hot shad put it on 12 pound test line and i think you guys will catch some fish doing that so hope you guys are well talk later